This is some of the aftermath following tornadoes that plowed across Kentucky 10 years ago in March 2012. There were people killed, towns destroyed, and farmers lost barns, livestock, and fencing. But to the rescue came volunteers with donated feed, hay, and fencing supplies to help them recover. On the 10-year anniversary, March 2, 2022, some of those farmers hit hard by tornadoes were in western Kentucky at Bremen in Muhlenberg County, paying it forward. Tim Bertram and his cousins, brothers Paul and Chris Rice, all from northern Kentucky, were rebuilding fences for farmers who suffered the same fate as they did in December. Bertram said it was hard for him to see the destruction. We were pretty lucky. We were just lucky. More ways than one. But you come back down, when you start seeing it, it's... <laughs> gives you the quivers. Bertram, Paul and Chris Rice, and others drove nearly 250 miles from northern Kentucky to lend a hand. I hate to see everything gone like it was. We lost four buildings. David Jarvis a Red Angus seed stock plant. beef producer for more than 30 years, benefited from their hard work. Winds of 195 to 200 miles per hour ripped Jarvis fences right out of the ground. But he did not lose any of his cows. That was a powerful storm. It picked up grown cows. I was lucky. I only wore my cows at that night. They was in this field year, and they must have got someplace that was safe. Neighbors helping neighbors is how Jarvis saw the volunteers coming to his rescue, which he appreciated. The effort was organized by retired Campbell County Agriculture Extension Agent Don Sorrell and Muhlenberg County Agriculture Extension Agent Daryl Simpson. Well, we had experienced you know a tornado and, and had so many, um, so much help up there in Campbell County and Pendleton. So initially. Uh, that sort of set the stage for us wanting to repay all the volunteers and support that we received. We've been so blessed in terms of having folks like Don and, and, and his men come down and help us. It's, it's absolutely amazing. Um, it, it's humbling as well. And so I'm just, I, I cannot express the gratitude. Simpson said other volunteers have come to Muhlenberg County to help and many have offered to return later this year. Really great to hear my farmers say the next time it's our turn. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin.